Hello folks and welcome to Song Codex. So I've been on a synth video binge lately and one that really caught my eye and my ear was the Moog Labyrinth. This idea machine is a semi-modular synthesizer that, as Moog puts it, invites you to explore the depth of sound creating intricate and evolving musical landscapes. So, inspired by this beautiful concept, I decided to make my own labyrinth and call it Daedalus. The name Daedalus comes from the legendary Greek architect and inventor known for his incredible skills and creativity, and one of his most famous works was The Labyrinth, a complex maze designed for King Minos of Crete to hold the Minotaur. My journey began by diving into the Labyrinth user manual and studying its fantastic diagram. This gave me a solid foundation for sketching out my own signal flow using Draw.io, fantastic online free software, by the way. Next, I needed a platform to develop my synth and I choose Plug Data. It boasts the same great audio engine as Pure Data but with a much friendlier interface and a ton of helpful new features. The core challenge, well, with no doubt, the generative sequencer. It took hundreds of if-else statements to bring it to life. Once that was done, it was time for the audio synthesis. When modeling digital synth, aliasing is your first enemy. Here I was checking some tones generated uh, with an early Daedalus prototype and yeah, this is a ton of aliasing. Approximately 10 hours later, I realized I was using the wrong object to generate band-limited waveforms. The not so fun part, for me at least, was designing the GUI. With zero graphic design experience, It was definitely a struggle, but after a few hours of tinkering, I landed on this layout. And yes, that's a glorious mess of cables. I know PD offers send and receive objects for cleaner organization, but they can impact performance on very large scale projects like mine. So I embraced the spaghetti cable programming to optimize the CPU performance and timing. And I'm very proud to say that when Daedalus is running, CPU load stays below 5%, which was my very first goal. <laughs> yeah, boy. And here it is, the finished Daedalus version If you like Daedalus and you want to use it in your music productions, consider joining my Patreon and make sure to select the Sound Alchemist tire. That said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.